Hello. I'm Chiyong Ude Chuku. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some lessons that could change your entire philosophy on life. I'm going to be listing them in no particular order because all of them are equally powerful. Number one, it doesn't have to be brand new, it just has to come from you. This quote right here has really helped me a lot this year. For you to find something that you can do right now and it's be totally unique to you is very very difficult. Most things that we've shared on our video has probably been done by another person. So I thought to myself, there's really nothing new under the sun. Like, if you go through a YouTube channel, you can find over 1 million videos on one topic but people will still come and select the one they want to watch and enjoy. So it doesn't matter how much something has been done before or said before. If you want to do it, you can still do it. If you want to say it, you can still say it. Because sometimes it just takes that one person expressing it in their voice, their style and their personality for you to sink in. And you are that person for somebody. So if you love to write or make videos or share any content online and you are discouraged because every other person is doing what you want to do, no, don't be discouraged because someone is waiting to hear your voice to get that message. Number two, when you're feeling inspired, do your best. When you're feeling discouraged, do the least required. Whatever you do, take actions because it goes a long way. Now, this is a personal quote I created to help me when I'm feeling down. Because some days, I might just feel like, oh my God, how can I get through this day? Like, it'll be so tough, you'll be so anxious. I'm sure you have those days when you feel absolutely down, you don't feel like doing anything at all. But no matter how down you feel, you still have your work waiting for you. Life must still go on. What do you do? You have to show up. Like, you have to do something. You must do something. No matter how little. It was Martin Luther King that said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Because life goes on. Time waits for no man. The sun won't stop shining because you're having a bad day. Same way for time. It won't stop because, huh, I heard Shimwe is having a bad day today. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to sit and wait for her. Mm -mm. It doesn't work like that. You have to keep moving on. You have to show up and do what you can do. Even if it's these bits, you just have to do something because it goes a long way. Number three, I've learned that we all want the same thing. We just give it different titles. We all want to be alive. We all want to be healthy. We all want money. We all want love and happiness. We all want security. But all these things mean different things to people. Like now, I know I want some money and to me that means you have to work for it. But to someone else, that could mean you have to attach yourself to somebody that could give you that money to another person that could mean you have to collect other people's money so that's why i say we all want the same thing but we give it different titles the fourth lesson not everyone needs advice sometimes the best you could do for someone is hold up a mirror and let them see themselves for who they really are i don't know if you have those friends or you've come across those people that are experts in judging other people like before someone will even cough they're already like i to fear but i knew this girl was like that I i'm not even surprised and it's not as if they are best off and those people you can't really tell them oh you're yeah, guilty of this thing because you, know, you saying it might just seem catty so when i come across people that are very judgmental and they're guilty of the same sin all i do is use their own action as a reference to someone else they're judging the fifth lesson motivation only works when you're already doing something personally i'm not a big fan of motivational speakers because i feel it's very passive and the best motivation anybody needs is the one from inside so whatever someone is telling you from the outside might not really do much work like it doesn't even do much it just gets you excited for the moment and it phases away so even if you follow all the motivational quotes pages on instagram and follow all the motivational speakers it won't do anything for you if you've not already started working like you need to be doing something for it to have an impact in your life if not you're just going to sit down there passively listen to it understand it and do nothing the sixth lesson is very very interesting i found this out when something happened to me i can't remember but my heart was beating really fast or so i thought if you check it your heart is already beating at a certain rate but when something intense happens our adrenaline rises and our sense is heightened especially the sense of hearing so you now start hearing your heart beat like boom 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 or however it sounds and you think it's beating fast no it just got louder it has always been on that particular rate yeah i'm not a science student but i'm sure if you try you you understand where i'm coming from it just gets louder it doesn't get faster if not, we'll die of heart attack. And for the final lesson, 
this particular one has been resounding for so long but it was this year i got the gist i've always wondered what makes one person rich and another person not so rich and i realized that it's not really in the amount of money you make although it plays a, like a very big role but the main thing that makes anybody rich is the amount of money they keep and use to make more money not really the amount of money you earn because you can earn and then spend but you find out that you're paying everybody but yourself so no matter how little you are earning if you don't keep even a tiny bit for yourself you would forever remain poor because even when you earn more your needs will grow to meet that particular income so the key is in keeping some for yourself because when you get that money you pay your rent or if you're living in your own house you have to get food and get other things buy buy clothes and join slave queen and pepper them gang and all those things if you don't keep something for yourself you will never have anything you just give out that money so learn to keep a portion of all your earnings if you're earning hundred thousand naira and you're spending hundred thousand naira you would never be rich if someone is earning fifty thousand naira and they keep ten thousand naira in ten years that person will be how much hundred thousand naira richer than you that is spending everything you earn it's something that is very hard to do especially when our needs are very unlimited and the money that comes in is like this bit so it's a practice you have to form the habit of keeping some money for yourself and when that money amounts to something reasonable you make it work for you as well it's not my theory it's been there from the beginning of ages even Jesus used it in the parable of the talent he gave out different amounts of talents to three different people one five another two and the other person one so the person that had more he added to him because he made his talent work for him so if you have little and you think you can't do anything with that little you continue having that little but if you make the little you have work for you god will be like mm. salt pay <laughs> okay so that's all we have for you in this video i hope you found it really useful i hope you're enjoying your holiday merry christmas and i wish you a prosperous new year in advance if you like this video and want to see more of it all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and you get updates whenever we upload new videos you can also visit our website www.wendipoleconsults.com go straight to our business library there you find templates and videos that can help you build a strong business and life while you're there go over to apply business community page and join our facebook group apply business community there you're free to share your personal opinions and views on the topics we discuss in our videos with other like minds and expand your knowledge and you also get personal updates from me that i just don't share anywhere else thank you so much for watching see you in our next video